With us now is Madeline Ashley from Madeline Ashley Cosmetics. Welcome to the show. How Thank are you? you? Good, how are you? Good. Now, you have been the founder of a business before this business. What was that? Yes. So when I was in middle school, I started a dog training business called Tricks and Treats. And it was just dogs around the neighborhood that I would train. And it was like my first little business. I've always had inspiration to start my own business. So I feel like the little girl that I used to be would be really proud of where I am now. I'm <laughs> sure she is because the little girl in me is even proud of my own grown up self. So yes. I, I get that, that feeling. For me, um, it just reminded me that I had a wagon that I took to my neighbors and it was <laughs> upcycling. Who knew that it was going to be upcycling back then? But they were like um, flower vases that my mom had already used from people that gave her flowers. Uh -huh. So I polished them up. I stuck them on a wagon. I went door to door to see if somebody would buy them. And sure enough, you know, people bought them. Yeah. Uh, so you would walk in. Uh, and you'd have a folder, and you would have the dog's name, yes. right? Is there a favorite dog that you worked with uh, that you kind of watched grow? Yes, um, I had a dog named Oakley that I trained for like probably three years. Wow. She was definitely my favorite. <laughs> and I know your family are dog lovers. How many yeah. dogs do you have? We have four dogs. Let's give them a shout out. We have Charlie, Oliver, um, Brody, and Henry. That way, when they watch this on their television at home, they'll come up and they'll be like, hey, she yeah. called my name. <laughs> um, but here today, we're talking about your cosmetic line, which yes. is very healthy. You yes. have an integrity behind your brand. Walk yes. us through the process of this. So we wanted to have affordable cosmetics that were also nourishing and had good things in them, you know, not full of a bunch of junk. So you're really getting good products that have um, like antioxidants in it. They're all paraben-free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, sulfate-free. So it's all good stuff you're putting on your face. I love that. Two of your products that I absolutely love um, is your Keratin Mascara. Yes. So what makes your mascara be able to just go on with one brush? Because a lot of times I wear makeup often because I have to. You know, it's like three or four times I'm trying to get it to work. But yeah. yours works. Yes. Well, our mascara has good things in it. Like you said, keratin. And I think that's our big thing because keratin really nourishes your lashes. And over time, while you use the mascara, you'll see that they're longer and stronger. Very nice. And you know what my favorite product is? The gloss. <laughs> I'm like, it's a wonder. Because I was on my way to a red carpet event. I had accidentally forgot my makeup. But you had given me the sample box ahead of time. And it just so happened to be in the car. And I was like so grateful <sighs> to you. I opened it up and there was everything I needed for my face so you have contouring products like walk us through some of the items that you have yeah so we have the perfect cover plus so that's our like concealer sticks you okay. can use those anywhere we have different shades so you can contour with them um, and then we have our blush which has antioxidants in it our blush glow comes in three different colors um, then we have our gloss of course that kind of just goes onto your lips and it kind of color adjusts to like what looks good you know and then we have, of course, the keratin mascara, and then we have brushes that are kabuki brushes. So we have our duo kabuki brush, which is a um, like a sponge on one side, and then the kabuki brush on the other, and then our regular kabuki brush. I was really happy um, to celebrate your brand because of all the good efforts that you're putting in. You grew up being so philanthropic. Are there certain charities that you like to help with now? Yes, so we're partnering with Girls on the Run, which is a nonprofit organization in Atlanta, and their main focus is to help young girls pursue their dreams. So it's perfect for what I'm doing because I always say, you know, when I was younger, I was a dreamer, and I know there's so many young girls out there that have dreams, and I hope to help them and be inspiring that they can also make their dreams come true. You're very inspiring. Um, it, and it, like I said, the, the gloss, when you said that how it adjusts to your own lip tone, mm -hmm. it's very interesting because I don't think many products do that. No. So it's a customized look. Yeah. And it smells good. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it has nice ingredients in it and it's all affordable. We wanted to make it where anybody can buy it, you know, because cosmetics, they're so expensive. Not everybody has $30 to blow on a mascara. So you get good stuff for good prices. And good stuff is important because a lot of times the chemicals that have been in makeup for such a long time have been actually more damaging to yes. people than people realize. Yeah. So it's nice that you're at the young age of, can I share? Yes. You're 18? Yes, 18. You're 18, mm -hmm. Madeline. You know, it's such a joy to work with someone like yourself that is so passionate about helping others. You know, so the journey is going to be amazing for you. But 
I, for one, am very grateful to you. And I know you said that we could tease something that's about to come out, which is a new tool. Yes, we have a new tool coming out, hopefully in September. And it is a tool that anyone that wears mascara is going to want. Okay. That's all I can say, but everyone's going to want it. <laughs> okay, so, so I'll take that. Yes. <laughs> uh, maybe in September when you can announce it, maybe we'll Skype you in from Atlanta yes. and we can talk about that. Definitely. Uh, and school, you're going to be going away to college. Where are you going to yes. be attending? I'm going to be going to the University of Alabama to study nursing. Now, I think the mascot is the elephant, yes. right? So trunks up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Madeline, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you so us. much for having me. Wish you all the best with this and everything that you have going on. Thank you so you're much. You're a delight. Um, stay you. tuned for more. You can go to their website to find out more. And she's right. Stay tuned for that tool because I kind of know the inside scoop on what that is. And their cosmetics are fresh and fantastic. Thanks for watching.